What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I left a good man who pursued my film career in Atlanta and ended up stripping as a single mom. <laughs> no more wasting time. Let's get it. My man was boring, but he took care of me. We had a house and food on the table. I left him to pursue my film dreams in Atlanta. Hmm. That failed. I've been stripping and other things. I got pregnant and want to go back home, so he'll help me. <laughs> He's dating. How to win him back? Nah, you got to accept that L, sis. Where's that, Where's that child's child father? father? Mm-hmm. See, you had a good man, but that was boring, sis. Mm. The routine got boring, so you decided to go live your, la live your life, and it ain't going as planned. Then you get pregnant by somebody else that wanted nothing to do with you but GTD. Mm. Get the drawers. Then he sprayed up the walls, and he bounced. Go find that, that baby father, sis. Yep. That's not his baby. You want to come back now. For him to take care of somebody else's baby. Now, nope. you got a lot of audacity. You got to take that L. Take it. Take it. Hold it. Hold it tight. Because that's your L. <laughs> she said, hold it tight. I like that. <laughs> Yo, she's hella funny. Yeah, man. Imagine you're that guy. Is your chick all of a sudden is like, hey, I have this passion for a film. And she moves to here, Los Angeles or Atlanta. And ends up completely ruining her life while she has a good thing at home it happens more often than you guys think what would you do in this type of a situation as always we're gonna check out what people have to say a lot of people in the comment section responded back to this first comment here says other things translates to doing something strange for a piece of change hmm yeah she said um i started stripping and doing other things yeah she was selling that cat she was definitely selling that cat a hundred percent Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Mm, mm, mm. Next comment here, some great advice from a man who says, from a boring guy, never let them come back. They just get bored once again. So true. <laughs> Two modern women today, being stable, making rational decisions, investing in your future, being financially responsible, not having a criminal record is boring. And if a woman thinks that life that produces peace is boring, you got to cut her off, boy. You can't deal with that. Take care of you. A lot of people think that a life where you're responsible and take care of yourself is boring. Don't be that. Taking care of yourself and making responsible decisions is not boring. And speaking of taking care of yourself, there's no more way to show responsibility of yourself than to take care of your skin. And of course, I'm talking about the sponsor of today's video, Tej Henley. Now, as usual, I'm excited to talk about T. Chanley, and you've probably heard me talk about them in the past, and I'm going to keep talking about them because I know the positive impact their product will have on your skin. Listen to me. I don't think a lot of you guys believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare product actually helps your confidence a lot. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. So I recommend that you start with their level one system, which comes with all their basics. A daily face wash, an exfoliation scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. And to make it even more simple for guys like us, they provide an instructional card that tells you which product to use, how much, and when. And I gotta be honest, for someone like me, the card really helped. I like that coffee. Guys, skincare wasn't something I ever took seriously. I would like break out here and there and just kind of wait for it to go away. But now I have a solution, right? And it's Teach Henley. It's what I'm showing you guys right now. It actually works. But you don't have to just take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers all over the globe. And in addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Henley get plenty of benefits, including 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause and cancel at any time and free US shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and also in the pinned comment and you would get 30% off your first box. Plus a free gift. Guys, if you've been thinking about starting with Teach Henley, now is the time. This is a great deal. Click the link and get started today. All right, guys, moving on. A couple more comments here. Next comment here reads, too many people confuse stability for boredom because they're too used to drama. 
That's true, you gotta be careful. Another person responding back to that comment said, felt this, grew up in a constant domestic drug slash violence. I want a boring, peaceful life. I don't miss any of those broken windows slash screaming matches. Very true. Another comment here says, I had to dump a woman because she went too far out of the way to try to find stuff to fight about. And I told her, I don't know who the hell hurt you, but you clearly aren't ready for a good relationship because you're so used to fighting. But now you're in a relationship that has no fights. You go searching for it. And that also points to women, man. Women, they love conflict. They love some drama. But like I always say, man, you don't need to go creating pro life is difficult enough you don't want a woman who's creating problems out of thin air next if a woman here who says she thought her man was boring now things would get real exciting trying to find her baby daddy in the best game of hide and go seek <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. Another guy here says, film dreams in Atlanta. Oh, okay, laughing emojis. And our final comment reads, she said she only wants him back so he'll take care of her. Not because she loves and misses him. The ex got lucky. Listen, man, curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.